everyone and welcome back to another video of power apps and in this video we will perform a search function without delegation even though we having more than you know 1000 5000 10000 even till 100k uh, items we can search without delegation how we will do that so first i'll let you know little bit about delegation so suppose if here i'm going and i'm trying to search this so tax input one dot tax is my uh, tax box name and this is the field for which I want to perform a search username so here you will see delegation warning the search part of this formula not work correctly on large data set what does that mean that means for now you are getting the result because the data is not you know more than 2000 in a SharePoint list if suppose the user is seated on 5000 uh, row number then if you will try to search that user you will not get that data because beyond 2000 power apps won't work on the search here we go so this is the limit as 2000 if I'll make it you know 2001 you will get the error so what we can do I will go over here and I will create a flow so this is very uh, simple and easy flow that we are going to create okay so here I will provide a search input so I can say input as we can say search input okay then I will go and get item get item from SharePoint list and list name is SharePoint list and Finance Academy so here I created this list and this list having around 800 or 900 records and then I will go in advance so here we go sub string of And here I will go for the search input and then I will search by username okay and then we can perform more columns search on more columns then here another search I will go substring of and here I will go with the same and this I will go by branch okay so here we are trying to search by two inputs username and branch okay now I will go here and in the setting if you will see here in the pag in pagination we can go up to 100k records you know 100k means we can search 100k records so 100k is a large number all right so at least we can search 100k not 2000 only then i will add a new step over here and then i will go for select and select data operation and here i will get value and username then I will go for branch I will go for username from user and branch from Or I can go for branch value okay now next step I will compose it okay in the compose I'll take this output and then next all right send here 
such data. So this will be our data and here we will take the output in this data. Now I will provide a name here list SharePoint list search then I will make it save all right so this has been saved now what I will do I will go on the search button and on select So here I will uh, create a collection, clear, clear collect and here I will provide the collection name. So call search data and then here I will provide, I will apply a loop and in this loop I will go for a table then in this table I will parse JSON and here I will call to the workflow SharePoint list search dot run and here I'll provide the input dot text and then search data and then here will be our data username and username will be value dot username because same we provided over there at the time of select a statement and then branch here we go for branch all right so uh, our formula is ready Okay, so collection is ready. Now what I will do, I will go over here, I will remove this. Okay, and here I will provide the collection name call such data. Okay, in this call such data, this will go and here we having the username basically, username and here we having the branch. All right, so now I will just run it and suppose username I'm going to search Pooja. Okay, now if I click on this, you will get all the data and no delegation warning. See here. Uh, I will just create a text box over here. Okay. What this text box will do, I will go for count and gallery dot all item count. And here in the property, I will go and make it white. You know so that we can see this count okay so count is six one zero and count all right so total count you can see now let me run it so now if I'll go for B A D I now I'll go for Vasti. Okay, so here you can see we have the Vasti. If I'll click over here, we getting the, the result count 176. All the data that having this Lungar Vasti Pune. Suppose if I'll go for SHA. Okay, it's SHA only. So I will get all the data that contains SHA, see SHA, SHA, SHA. So this search result is working as expected, no delegation, nothing. You can search 100K data without any issue.
and after that you having if you know suppose if you have more than 100k then you can apply a filter then apply the search functionality all right i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thank you bye bye